I'm Jim Hummel and I'm Marcel Fontenot. Boy, what a night it has been. Polls opened across Acadiana early this morning and voters deciding on hundreds of candidates amendments and referendums tonight. And tonight we have your result. And before we came on the air, you were listening to Congressman Clay Higgins reelected to a second term tonight. His voice cracking, fighting back tears, thanking his supporters at his election night headquarters. Yeah, talking about how he spent more nights away from his family, taking care of the business of uh, what's going on in Congress. And one of his opponents, Mimi Methvin, is about to take the stage as well. Let's take a live look at her election night headquarters. Our Chris Welty is standing by live there as well. Let's go out there now. Thank you, we will continue the fight. <laughs> Mimi Methvin just wrapping up her concession speech right now on stage. She's surrounded by her two sons and supporters out here. There's a lot of tears that were shed tonight. Uh, obviously a very disappointing night for Mimi Methvin tonight, not beating out Clay Higgins. Uh, room right now, as you can hear, radio silence. I'm just gonna stop talking so you can hear how quiet it is here. You can literally hear a pin drop in this room right now. Uh, Obviously, the crowd here very shaken by the results. Uh, earlier, when I spoke with supporters, they said Mimi ran a very grassroots campaign, knocking on doors with phone calls as well. Uh, she was proud that she did not take any PAC money as well in this race. Uh, obviously, not the results that her supporters and team wanted this evening. Live in Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. Our political analyst, Dr. Pearson Cross, here with us. Let's go ahead and start with that third congressional district race. You know, Mimi Methvin, someone who maybe started off slow but gained lots of momentum towards the end of this race. She did. She had a real feel-good race. She seemed to hit her stride as she went on. At first, she seemed like what she was, which mm -hmm. was a judge, you know, very formal. And uh, she gradually made connections and, and was one of the better educated candidates in this multi-candidate race. And if we can take a look at the numbers in this race as well, the third congressional district race, not going to a runoff. Congressman right. Clay Higgins mm -hmm. re-elected uh, the third congressional district numbers, if we can pull up there. Um, but uh, just to get a sense of, you know, we had seven candidates in this race and Congressman Higgins yeah. won this outright, not even winning, needing a runoff. He did, and, and some of the early polls suggested he was going to do so, but those polls were from uh, the candidates themselves many times, so you don't really trust those. But I will say he came in, his margin of victory was less than any of the other winning congressional candidates, so uh, that's kind of to be expected. He didn't spend a lot of money, he didn't campaign a lot, it didn't mm -hmm. seem like he... But he pulled it off at the end. He's in there for his second term. And he even faced a challenge from within his own party as well. He but did. Josh Guillory, the Republican, yeah. the other Republican in the race, uh, finishing in third place, I believe. Yeah, and Josh seemed to run out of money, and that really hurt his momentum. I think towards the end, he was fading. Memmi was coming on. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, uh, uh, Congressman uh, Higgins is very popular outside the two main population centers in Calcasieu and Lafayette. So in the other parishes, he won very handily. All right, well, Dr. Pearson Cross, a familiar face. We're gonna be checking in with you throughout Great. the night as we get through some of the 